hello. I thought we could read some more stories since we're all stuck at home again. I will be doing a few of these over the next couple weeks, so if you'd like to know straight away when a video is up, you can press the subscribe button and that should let you know. Also, if you have any um, requests, comments or questions, then you can just let me know in the comments below. Today's story is The Gruffalo, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch at my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here, by these rocks. And his favourite food is... Roasted fox? Roasted fox, I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you owl but no I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream to whip to woo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffle? Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. Oh help! Oh no! It's a Gruffalo! My favourite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead, I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, 
I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble and my favourite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. The end. I really like that story. I think my favourite bit is right at the end when the mouse finally gets a bit of peace and quiet and a snack and he can just sit down and have a little meal all to himself without anything trying to eat him. I've got to go now because my tummy's starting to rumble and I need to go and find a snack for myself. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>